Midday Kentucky Cooking Segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Chef Allison Davis here in the Wild Time Kitchen. And this week I'm talking a little bit about these, what I call kitchen hacks. And that's more or less how you can eat healthy, but also use some of the semi-homemade or the convenient items that the grocery store's already gone ahead and taken a step out of the prep process. So today what I'm highlighting is um, these zucchini noodles. Now, if you have a spiralizer at home, sure, you can cut your zucchini, you can spiral it, and you've got zucchini noodles. But sometimes you're in a hurry, you don't have time. And so these um, are already spiraled zucchini that, again, you can find pre-made, ready to go, in the deli section. And again, it's raw vegetables. It's just already taken one of the steps of prep out so that you can really get it to the table quickly. So I'm going to start sauteing these off with a little bit of olive oil. And honestly, you could do it raw if you wanted, but I do like to just saute it a touch with a little bit of salt and pepper, okay? But then we're going to uh, season this with um, like a sauce. And instead of doing like a marinara sauce or a store-bought sauce, I'm gonna make a pesto. Now, again, if you are in that rush and you are looking for convenience factors, you could certainly go out and buy. There's several different pestos that you can make. I even think there's like a quinoa basil pesto. Uh, but one thing with the pesto, I will notice, it does have like your milk in it from your cheese. But we're gonna add cheese in this. So this is really clean. It's basil. It does have canola oil, spinach, garlic, Parmesan, Romano. Um, salt, citric acid, and absorbic acids, which just helps to um, preserve uh, the pesto. So, and I'm not going to use this, but again, this is another cheat and a kind of a hack if you were looking for a quick, simple option. But we're going to make our own pesto, and one of the keys to pesto is toasted pine nuts. I love toasted pine nuts because they're buttery, they're rich. You can see how those are getting nice and golden brown. And I want to add some extra vitamins into this. So instead of a basil pesto, I'm going to make a spinach pesto that's going to coat our zucchini. So you see how there's a little bit of water in that pan? That's really what we're trying to get rid of is just to kind of evaporate and get some of that water out of the zucchini. All right. So pesto is very simple to make. And you can do a combination. You could do mint. You could do cilantro, uh, basil, parsley, you name it. But I'm doing spinach and loading this up with some extra vitamins. We're going to add to this some garlic, which I have already minced, and again, salt and pepper. And we're going to start to uh, turn this into a nice paste. I'm going to add some of those toasted pine nuts. And the key, the other reason I wanted to uh, mention why you toast the pine nuts is it's really going to make your pesto nice and creamy. It, it just almost melts and just secretes those oils and it's just fantastic. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I will tell you if you wanted to go dairy free, do a combination of pine nuts and walnuts toasted and they also help give you that kind of sense of, of dairy and that creamy texture. All right, so we're gonna blend this up and it's gonna be a nice coarse paste. And then we're gonna add kind of olive oil slowly into that to kind of smooth it out. Just a slow drizzle into your food processor, and we are almost there. Last thing I like to add a lot of times is even like just a touch of lemon juice if you really like that citrus, but you can just see how nice and creamy that is. And we are going to strain these zucchini noodles and just toss it into uh, the spinach pesto just in a bowl. And I reserve some of the pine nuts to go on top. You could also top it with a little Parmesan cheese. If you wanted to add like a little bit of extra protein, we could go with some shrimp or a little bit of like the pulled rotisserie chicken, which is another easy hack. So there's really great ways that you can get into the kitchen and you can use these convenience uh, grocery store items to make dinner on the fly. So I'll have this recipe posted at uh, middaykentucky.com forward slash recipes. You'll find this along with many others. I'm Chef Allison Davis. You're watching Midday. We'll be right back after this short break.